hundred grams of wet flour, red beans, onion oil, sugar and celery. This is my tasty cooking show. Hello, my name is YN2 Andrea Young from U.S. Naval Base Guam. And my name is Todd Young, and welcome to What's Cooking. Today we're going to be making Mexican sopes. To make sopes, you have various phases. You got to make your green salsa, your red salsa. We're going to be cooking different types of meat today, and he is going to help me chop the onions and cilantro to top off our product at the end. Meanwhile, I'm going to be working on my salsas. The green salsa is going to contain tomatillos. They are called tomates, some serrano chili peppers, onion. The red salsa is going to contain tomato. Usually I like Roma tomato, but there wasn't any. Uh, just pick a tomato that is not sweet. That one is going to contain these types of chili peppers. They're a Mexican chili pepper called chile de arbol. It means chili of a tree. Our salsas will contain salt, garlic. This is cumin. You gotta be very careful with cumin because if you put too much of it, it gets bitter. So probably like an eighth of a tablespoon per salsa. And then we're gonna use pepper on our steak. And usually I like to use bouillon in the green salsa, but my friend is a vegan, so we're gonna be using a sort of adobo seasoning that's a vegan. And this is masa. We're gonna be making the base of our sopes with masa and water. Mexicans like to use pork lard or really any type of oil you wanna use, you can use for your sopes. While Todd is chopping onions, I'm gonna be peeling these off of the tomatillos and preparing them to be washed. There's multiple ways to cook tomatillos. You can boil them in water and then blend them but today we're gonna be grilling them to get a little black carbon on top of them and then we're gonna blend those. I'm gonna toast these lightly on the stove. Once you toast these, you wanna immediately put them in the, the blender with the salt and nothing else. We're gonna blend the toasted peppers in some salt. And the reason we're doing this is because it has to stay dry, otherwise the pepper the skin gets very sticky and it sticks to the walls of everything and you can't get it off. The red salsa contains five of those peppers, uh, about a tablespoon of salt. We might add more later. It's going to have grilled onion, three red tomatoes, a clove of garlic. You could start cooking the meat and then we'll pop over and we'll do the green salsa. So we can, make, we can use any type of meat that we want. Just cut it very small. Usually I use the carne asada type of steak, but there wasn't any at the store. And my favorite is personally the chorizo, or some people call it longanisa. Um, specifically the Mexican style one is the one we use for this. And I've never used this brand, but we're gonna test it out today and see how it works. I'm gonna put my garlic clove. I'm gonna start off with three of the serrano peppers and putting all of these tomatillos in here. All right, now we're gonna be making the dough. This is maza and water. I'm gonna add a little bit of water at a time and mix it by hand. Stop adding water whenever everything is all stuck together. It's not breaking off very easy. It's kind of like a, uh, like Play-Doh. So as we can see now, the dough is all sticking together like Play-Doh, and it's going to allow us to make little balls and press it out, and uh, that way we can cook our sofa. What is there about the size of a golf ball, maybe? Nothing really special, you just make it like that. Flatten them out. So you're basically making a thick tortilla. You can make them bigger than this, too, if you want. So one thing that makes a sope sope is not the thickness, it's the way that we create a ridge here and then you pinch the center to create texture and grooves and all your salsa is going to come in here.
I'm Todd, this is Andrea, and we've made Soap Base. Thanks for watching. Tune in for our next episode of What's Cooking.